Hello, everybody. Um, Karina from Break Fear, Find Freedom. Today, I have a very exciting guest with a beautiful name, Nyama Ashong. It sounds very like it rolls off the tongue so well. And Nyama is, is doing something close to my heart. He is an outlier, first of all. He's never fitted in any way. Anyway, well, hey, <laughs> need I say more about that? And he talks about freedom, um, just something that is so close to my heart. So I'm, without further ado, let's meet Niyama and see what he has to say about all this and who he is anyway. Hello, Niyama. How are you? Hi, Karina. Uh, I am I'm doing really well. I'm just taking you in right now. Uh, it's good to be here. Thank you so much for for inviting me to be in a conversation with you. Um, and I really like I'll share a little bit about who I am, but I just I first just grounded myself and centered myself into just like how excited I am to like where this conversation can go. Right. They're, like one of the one of the things that was most exciting to me was just like, all right, let's let's see. I'll tell you this. One of my goals is to learn something new about myself as a result of this conversation. I right? love <laughs> it. Yeah. Yes. So, so let me let you know a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Niyama Sean. When you said it, it sounded like my parents, like a part of me, like, like, like got really, got really straight. And I was like, oh, Karina is calling me into this space. So thank you for that. <laughs> nice. uh, my name is Niyama Sean. I am the, uh, I'm a pioneer of the world joy movement, where we really look to find, to build possibilities for the future that are based on joy rather than violence or on scarcity, right? Nice. Um, and with that, one of the things that I, I have is uh, I started a business called Outliers Edge. We have our own podcast. We have our own like uh, uh, community uh, and, and various coaching uh, and components where we champion the leaders who are really shaping what the future of our world is going to look like, you know? Yes. Yes. Uh, and that, you said to yourself, I, I am an outlier. I'm someone who... My parents are from Ghana, West Africa. I was born in the U.S. I had to figure out my my way of doing things where I wasn't quite African, but I also wasn't like quite like I was American, but I wasn't like like my parents were like very clear to like you come from a different background than like Black Americans here, so like you have to take that into consideration. Like how do you actually navigate that? Um, and you know, ultimately, I found like I'm someone who's fit out most of my life, and it wasn't until maybe the last five years that I realized that. As much as I thought I was uh I was belonging with others, I was actually just this holding back parts of me uh yeah. in order to be to, in order to be accepted, uh, knowing that it was a false acceptance. And uh the last five years has been uh it's been a really just an, an awesome rec recognition of the fact that like I have lived an impossible life over and over and over again. And for some reason I'm I keep defying the odds. Uh, and now I'm, and, and what I've come to it realize is like the reason I had to find it out is because I am a part of it. Uh, and there's, and I'm allowing myself to go through that journey. So, um, we'll talk more about various things, I'm sure, but like, that's who I'm going to bring myself in. Oh, there's one last thing I can say. I'm also a proud father of, uh, of one and soon to be, uh, two children. So oh, uh, nice. I'm going to bring that into, into the mix. Well, so the first thing we have to say is, um, well, congratulations on your your one child and, of course, for your new um, creation. Thank you. And um, it's so beautiful because it's just all about new beginnings. Um, and I always love that. So congratulations. Thank you very and much. And thank you again for being here. And I have to um, just go back and say how, um, how you felt and what just turned, like, because it's only five years ago when you decided, well, hey, you know what? I need to be me. I need to be Niyama, my true authentic self, as opposed to being peer pressured or being this other person that just wants to please everybody and, and, and wants to be accepted into, into society or wherever it is. What was that shift? What happened? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Run, break fear, find freedom. So let me first let you know about the fear, right? My my number one fear in life is being alone. Uh, over the years, it has taken up, like it has transformed and grown with me. Uh, I used to be a physical, physically alone, 
then it was like being the only one like me and then like so on and so forth, like being left out of things. That's like, so it's grown in many different ways. So the, the, the game that I'm playing right now, it's like, oh, can I, can my thought leadership be out there alone? You know, can I, can I be the only one that's saying this? Right. So it's, it's grown over, over time. Yes. Um, but that was, that's been my fear. And as a result, I grew up as a, as a people pleaser. Right. Yes, I, yes. I really, really found great ways to to make my way in. And I told you a little bit about like something my dad said to me earlier. I was like seven years old. And it's like, look, Miyama, your background is of, of Ghanaian. You like like the black Americans here have had their history stolen from them. Right. So you you you're not that. But I grew up right outside of Canada, New Jersey, which was like the fifth most dangerous city in America growing up. There was like I had a lot like what I saw around me were people who looked like me, but like that weren't me, you know, appar- yes. apparently. And so yes. I didn't know how to like really find my 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 place in. Um, and so what ended up taking place is I got to a place and I'll just tell you, I'll take you right to the moments like where where like the journey really, really began for me. Um, I was 30 years old and I was uh, and I, I put in my age because I'm like decades of living on this planet you know uh yeah and i thought and i and and i thought that i really got myself i thought i understood things um and at that time i was going by my nickname which was nemo uh nemo like the fish is how i would introduce myself to people yep uh on my resume it was like niyama quote unquote nemo ashang like it was it was even on like things that were more formal it was still present as nemo right um and we want, I, I was, I had gotten involved with diversity and inclusion as a result of like, like the, the way my job had evolved. And if you, what you may not know about me is that like, I used to run away from that. I, I, I always get tapped to do some diversity and inclusion thing. I was one of the like few black people in the things that I did, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, so it wasn't like, it was like not that hard to tap me into it. Uh, I'm also very like extroverted, so on and so forth. Right. So I was in, I was involved with with diversity and inclusion as a result of my job, like like actually like part of my job scope, uh, and it was one of the most uncomfortable things I had done because I'd spent most of my life running away from it, running away from being put yes. in a label, running away from being in the box around it. Uh, but as a result of it, it helped me like confront something that I didn't realize to be true, which is um, just like the institutional racism that's that's present in America, right and it got me to recognize that well like, like in my mind like I, I watched the, I watched the, the video we were sitting in a basketball court like I was in a tech company in New York City we we're sitting in a basketball court just a few people watching watching a movie um around around uh, institutional racism in, in America and it was called white like me it was a movie made by a white man to talk to other white men and it's never lost been lost on me to that like that's it was watching a movie that was made for that, like that specific audience that finally like hit me, you know? And yeah, yeah. and what, what I got was like, oh, I'm really not supposed to be here. Like it was the first time I really got like, wait, like there are, there are forces at play that are working against me and somehow I'm here, you know? And Karina, I, I have to call that wow. into, yeah, yeah, let me, let, let me, there's more to it. Let me take a breath on that because that was like, that was the beginning of it there. Is there anything that, that comes to you when I say that? Derek? Yes, it's like, wow. Um, I, what I'm thinking right now is it's actually sad and beautiful in a way, right? Because you were there with, and and people, you, you accepted the environment as it was, right? There was no color, you know, you accepted it until someone came up and said, hey, um, this isn't the way it's supposed to be. So it's again about separate separation. Like it's always about you and me, us and them, us and them. And I always say that it should be about we where it, it shouldn't have even come up. But those are just yeah. my thoughts as I'm, I'm just talking um, well, yeah, let's, off the let's, top let's, of my me, head. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk here, right? Um, one of the things that comes to me is like, Maybe it shouldn't have come up, but I'm glad. I'm really glad that it did, right? Because because yes. the reality is that I was going through my experience of life, uh, constantly pushing away a part of me, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, act like actively pushing it away and pretending that it wasn't present, 
Now, look, it was it was it was good for me. Like and it allowed me to be in like in spaces that most people like that statistically I wasn't supposed to be in, right? Yes, like yes. I had worked as a retirement actuarial consultant. They said 3% of all actuaries working at that time um, in America were African-American. Um, I was working in tech. They said 3% of all uh, people working in tech at that time were African-American. You know, like I was just there, you know? Yes. Uh, and there was something about that that like, that like that day it really it really dawned on me i was like it's not just it's not just it's like i'm it's not just i'm lucky or i'm doing all the right things like there's something some, like the forces were stacked against me and yet i'm here what am i and and what am i what am i not honoring by not honoring that part of myself yes you yes, know what i'm saying so i yes. say like i became a black man for the for the first time five years ago like that was the day where i was like i need to like start embracing this about me as well i'm still new to this you know some of the other day like some of the other day um it wasn't the other day actually it was it was a few years later i was in a circle with some very powerful coaches where i was uh, um I, I believe in the power of like being in spaces with other people who can see things that you can't yes and who yes, are yes. uh who you trust enough to like tell you the, the truth right um and in that circle someone brought up like like i was going by the name nemo and they're like why are you going by nemo when you have this powerful name niyama and i was like thanks but no thanks like i'm nemo i'm good my website i was like i'm i'm all about authenticity karina i'm like i'm all <laughs> about being you my website was nemoashang.com right like every like and it wasn't someone someone said to me in that circle right afterwards. I was like a juxtaposition, like a one-two combo. The person said to me, he said, Nemo, the reason that people don't understand you, right, is because you are being too fluffy. You are being you're being too vanilla. You're being all around white, trying to like make this come to life. And look, when I mean, you are you are a big, black, bold, beautiful man. And when you are that, we see you and we hear you because we hear you. And like it's not your job to keep to make other people feel safe yes. and that space wow. changed everything for me that yeah. is so powerful and um i have to go back because i, I yeah, don't sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm running with a bunch of different things right no, now so that's like, fine. So like that's what i love about this it's all yeah. unscripted and that's what we're having a conversation yeah i have to go back because i don't believe in coincidence um yeah. and i believe that everything there's synchronicities in life right and they they all come with blessings i mean you know if people know my story there's always been there's always something like we've always got something but at the end of the day blessings come out and it and it works out beautifully and mm -hmm. that for you was that day that movie being in that environment was such a beautiful blessing because now it gave you almost permission to go and become Niyama um, and embrace your authenticity because that's who you are so it's, it's beautiful, actually. I love you say that. Like, like I will tell you, Karina, I didn't just like walk out that room and be like, I am now Niyama. No. no. I went another, <laughs> I went another like three, how many years? Yeah, another three years going by Nemo, like still not realizing, like, like, cause I was, like, and I think that's important to put out there. It wasn't like, yes, yes. like it was the beginning of transformation, right? Yes. I like, yes. I love like this, this is called break fear, find freedom. It's not break fear, have freedom. Right, you still have to go on that that freedom journey. Yes, you yes, know what I'm saying. Yes. So that's when I would say, like, that's when I that's when I crossed the threshold. That's when I like got sucked into a whole new world and said, "Oh wait, hold on, maybe everything that I've accomplished is like in spite of myself, not because of myself." Yes. What yes. would happen if I actually embraced all of? Me? If I can do this using a sliver of who I am, what would happen if I embraced all of me? I love it. And it's about, um, because I talk about it, we talk about it a lot um, on, on the podcast, is about that self-belief, that confidence, mm. that knowing that, you know what, this is who I am. I'm embracing yeah. everything, no matter what, doesn't matter. Yes. And this is who I'm going to step out to be. And I'm going to be it regardless of what anyone's going to say about it. Yeah. And that's very powerful. And I know it takes a long time because I know there's synchronicities, but you know, like it just starts. So that was the beginning. And then you had the circle and then it was something else. And as you look at it, you, the pattern of life just unfolds and it's, whoa, wow. 
I I really I'm glad we're talking about this here, like the pattern of life, because yeah, there were there there were a number of different moments, right? And I think part of the reason why I was like I'm going to share some of these components here is because the idea that I wasn't being me, just like it didn't make sense, you know. Like I can say it right now, and I can look back and be like, whoa, like what was behind my actions, right? I have a, people, they're like, wow, you have a great smile. Part of the reason why I bring some of these things into conversations because I'm like, how do I say it? I, like, like I didn't need to bring up that, I was, that I'm a black man. You can look at me and you can you can see, you know? But it's important for me to make sure that I that I show up in this, this conversation with that because like, if I don't, I'm going to forget like, well, how do I say it? If I don't, I'm going to forget like what it really took to, be here and what i don't want to do uh is like is kind of like sugarcoat like the actual process there right because not yes. only does it take synchronicity and time but it's also really challenging it can be incredibly painful uh and it feels like life and death a lot of times along the way and i just yes. want to like that's like like even here in this conversation i'm like do i really need to be talking about this there's so many i could be talking about <laughs> impossible goals you know but I feel like I'm like if you really knew me, you would like you would know that like you have to know like what it took to get to the place where I can now talk to you about these impossible goals because yes. like we as people like we're stuck in our fears, right? It's it's not it's not calmly walk away from fear, right? It's no. break fear, oh, yes, you know? yes, yes. So like so like yes. so so I, I'm like I'm like I really do want to make sure that I, like I'm being like. I don't like I'm not fearless. I just I like over time I've started to fear less. That's it, you know? And so I want to make sure that I'm not I'm not leaving that out. And you know, to any extent that, that you're curious about any like anything around that, let me know. Cause I promise you I will play so high in like the light space. But I'm like, if I don't give room to the dark right now, um I've, that, that the old me would have done that. The old me would have looked at and said, well, I need to I need to come off in a certain way, and and now for me, I'm like I just want to be real, as yes. real as I can about this. Yes, yes, and um, that's already very powerful in itself. Because of course, you know what you you break one fear. Well, break. I'm um, just uh, you don't really break it. You transform it, and it becomes another, and it disappears, and it's a little bit better, and and you have this this fluid game all the time. But I think if you can get to that point where you now, where you can speak about it authentically and honestly for yourself and truthfully, um, the fears get less and less. I mean, of course, they're always there to, to, to play with you because it's all about growth at the end of the day. And I'm not, and, I, and I'm sorry if I, it sounded like um, I was minimizing your journey. I didn't mean it that way. Oh, not at all. Because not it's, at all. It is. It's 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 a it's an internal growth, and there's so much pain because it's you 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 working with yourself, and there's constant conflict. I mean, I know that we all go through that. Um, I mean, for me, I'd look at myself and hate myself. But like, look at your hair, look at your face, look at this. Why are you so ugly? I wouldn't even be able to look in the mirror. And it takes such a long time. So it's the same kind of thing. It takes so much time to actually accept yourself for who you are. And there are so many people out there that don't know how to. And that's why that's why we have these conversations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no, there was no part of me that felt that that any part would be minimized at all. It was, it was, it's it was more in the space of like, oh, I want to maximize this other thing. Um, and make sure, make sure we're, we're, we're capturing that, but, uh, I get, I get that like, like, you don't, you don't, you don't back away from what's actually there. So I yes. appreciate that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, so now with that, so now you've got this, um, so, so just it for a little bit of contrast. Okay. Well, yeah. You said it, but I'm just want to, um, so you've got, uh, Niyama now, right? Ah, mm -hmm. like, it's, like I said, it's, it rolls really nice off the tongue. You've got me. Like, now. Like 20 years without using that name. Like, <laughs> it's so like, how does it sound in your yeah. head? It's, and, it's, yeah. Keep going on. Okay. So, so you've got Niyama and you've got Nemo, right? Yeah. So Nemo is very anglicized and very um, Americanized in that because that's where you, that's where you were born. But you've got Niyama who's, who comes with the culture and, and makes it more, um, complex because that's who we are um 
how does that feel within you, like that contrast? And do you still feel that? Like if someone says, hey, Nemo, um, how do you feel as opposed to, hello, Nyama, or hey, Nyama? Yeah. Well, I would say like, like even you saying, like introduce me as Nyama, it, it still felt great, right? Um, I think that the, it, I'll, I'll say it this way. When, when I made the, the transition here, it was like, it was complete. Right. Uh, and and that was actually one of the things I'm really grateful for about, about that process. It was just like. I got it in that circle that I was like, oh, I'm done. Like Niyama is complete. That's no, right. Nemo is complete. And now it's time for Niyama. Yes. Uh, and. To to do this, like I had a whole ceremony, I had like a whole goodbye ceremony to Nemo. I really like I like like wow. I believe that in order to go to in order to start something something else must end first yes right yes, yes. uh and so so we handled we had a past and for for nemo uh i you know shared shared a lot of my gratitude towards nemo um but i was complete and you know in every place that i that i was using nemo because at that point i had gotten rid of niyama at like if i had to send in a resume it would have just been nemo you know like niyama would have niyama would was gone yes, uh yes. so like I came home. Uh, I called my parents. That was actually the hardest thing. I right? called my parents and 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 telling them like, "Hey, I'm back to Niyama," and and like, and this this the embrace that came from there. My wife was the second hardest because she's like, "I've only ever known you as Nemo, but I'm I'm with you." <laughs> you know, like who is this guy? He went wow. away. Who's this guy who's coming back? Right. Um, but yeah, there was just a process of changing everything, all, all, everything on the website, I changed my whole website around, like, just like, I'm just like, oh, by the way, I've been pursuing authenticity, telling you to be authentic. And it turns out there were, there were still pieces that were missing. There's, and there still are pieces now. Um, I'm at a place right now where I, I, I took about a year and I was like, I'm just Niyama. And for people who knew me in the past, they're grandfathered into Nemo. I was Nemo. I like, I still can, I'm still Nemo to them. It's like, it's like a, a childhood friend calling you like where they, like it's, it's, yes. it would be inauthentic for them to call me something else. Right. Yes, it's like, yes, I'm not yes. that person. Yes. Uh, but for every new person, I mean, I am Niyama. Uh, it feels really easy. It feels really like effortless to me. And I think about, um, and there are times where I call upon, like I invoke Nemo. You know, because I lo- like the things that Nemo does, the things that Nemo would do that like Niyama gets too serious about, you know? Yes, yes. And, I love that, I'm like, actually. Yeah, I'm like, oh, dude, we need a, we need some Neo Nemo in this case right now, right? Like, just just bring that in. Let's 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 embody that once again. Let's bring that energy out in, into the space. And over time, I am seeing like, there's a there's a hard separation where like Niyama was put away for, for 20 years. Then Nemo was put away for kind of like a year. And now we're just kind of like, hey, by the way, we're, I, I kind of think of it like we're on the same bus, you know, Niyama's in the driver's seat, you know, and Nemo, Nemo's on the bus as well. And when I need to, I'm like, hey, can you come sit in the passenger side? Like, I can really use some support, you know? And yes. then afterwards, I'm like, all right, cool. You're free. Go, go do your thing. I love you know? it. Does yes. that answer, does that answer your question? I it's love like, it. Like, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, I just have to ask you, and and, and it's, it's it's a personal question, so you don't have to. Oh, answer. I'm so I'm in for every personal question. You <laughs> go wherever you need to go. Um, I'm I'm right there with you. I trust you so much. Okay, well, thank you, Nyama. That's um, that's an honor. Uh, I I have to ask you this about um, because your wife married Nima, right? Mm-hmm. What? How did your tra- your relationship transform when Nyama came into play? Yeah, I have to. I have to ask. You're probably better off asking her that because <laughs> she had to do more work than I did. I was done. Right? I was. I wasn't. And I. I like to use the word complete, not done, because I think sometimes like done has the connotation like I'm over it. I'm done. Yes, it wasn't that. Yes, yes. I was complete. Like I just like it. Uh. So I, I, what I can say is that we went through it together. Right. Like she was figuring out me, and it was and her love for me as I was going through that transition. Uh. Was incredibly important because like it 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 normalized a lot for me right it normalized a lot for me and and I know it was it was it was not easy for her and there was a lot of grace that was coming on both of our ends and so on and so forth um 
and like like we're we're here she even has her own way of saying niyama in a way where i'm like oh i'm in trouble you know so like so like we've, we've made we've made we've, we've got we've got through all, all the thresholds there but I, I really think it was just like it was she all all it was was open arms and i'm gonna try um and and sometimes i'll I like like it, it's new for me but we'll we'll make we'll make it through and it was really earnest and as I'm saying this, like it, I haven't thought of it like this before, but I think about the times that we make transitions. I think about the times that, like, you know, we we change who we are in the ways that other people have seen. It's not that, and like, I've always been Niyama. I was literally born that way, yes, you know. Yes. Um, but like to declare to the world that now this is who I am. Um, in, in my in my way, I'm having this experience of mm-hmm. like, oh, like, what what is it like to have people? the people in your corner really be in your corner you know and yes. and the the elements of just effort in to say like i'm gonna I, i'm gonna let you know i'm gonna mess up sometimes a lot you know but i i'm gonna mess up because i want to get it right and rather and i and what's been one of the most beautiful things for me has been it's a name change for me right it's not it's 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 a big deal for me it's not a big deal in the biggest in the cosmic scheme of things but it's a big deal for me uh and one of the big things that, that I love is that people don't shy away from the name, which is what I felt like they were doing when I was younger. You know, they're like, they'll, they'll just make up some kind of nickname, you know? Um, I actually had someone, uh, yeah. So what I love is that people are like, they'll go for it. And they're taking they're taking on the responsibility of being like, how do I say that again? What I and like and I could tell when they don't know and I'm like by the way I'm gonna just reintroduce myself and they're like oh, I'm sorry your name's like this and I'm like look I get it easy you know like your name is the name that I've heard like from other people so like we're good you know so we're yeah it works out really well well you know I I, I love that as well um, I believe in mirrors right so everyone we meet is a mirror right. And it's quite interesting how you say that at the beginning, no one really got your name and you they called you weird things. Just my thoughts, okay? Because you didn't really accept yourself. Now that you're accepting Niyama, it's like a whole different dynamic. It sounds like it's like a whole different feeling. And people are accepting Niyama because Niyama is accepting Niyama. Um, so I'm loving I'm that. I'm so glad you said that. Yes. I'm loving that. Yes. Um, and then I also have to say that uh, I'm loving the fact that um, love conquered all. I'm a Pollyanna, okay. My second name is Pollyanna. Well, it's not, but I, I believe that love conquers all. I believe that everyone's good. Um, and 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 now you've just proved it because a lot of times, you know, when when things happen you know okay you have it you changed because you were different you you become a different person right even though you were nyama you still embody embody different aspects of yourself and your wife supported you and loved you and accepted you for that and again you've got that mirror thing wow what a beautiful story yeah karina in this moment i'm just like i'm just really present to like how much I'm enjoying the way that you have conversation. Uh, I'm like, well, you're really good at this. Um, And uh, like, you've been able to just dance with every part of the conversation here. And I just like, that this feels really present to me in this moment. So I wanted just to to voice that and bring that into the space. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Niyama. Um, Yes. So as I was saying, I, I love the, I love this whole game, you know, this whole pattern again, and how you found the one. My, my grandmother, and I've got a podcast, we spoke about this. My grandmother always used to say, um, for every lid, for every pot, there's a lid. And um, I think you found your lid. And, and that just means anything and everything's possible. Because even as, if we, as we are, we know that everything's possible. But if you've got your lid with you, right? Um, you can you can create even more because you support each other and you know when yeah no, that, your- f- that feels really good that feels really good like yeah um you know i'm like nicole you are my lid you know <laughs> and i am the lid to your pot so i will take that um yes. <laughs> I, I love that you said like you're you're, you're pollyanna and like 
uh, and that love is in this space right now because that's actually been something that has been uh, on a different path. It's like there's something that's been really growing within me recently. Um, for me in particular, I found like uh, in the work that I do, I had created myself, I created some things that would create a lot of separation, right? Yes. Um, like I'm very like system oriented. I can do all those things. And uh, recently I've just been slowing down and saying like, how do I get, how do I like get out of the complications of how things should be uh, and recognize that like it, how anything is in this moment is exactly perfect. And all that, like literally all I, I, I wake up and I'm like, who would I love to pour love into today? And like, uh, that's how I've been like guided in my days. That's how like, uh, that's, that's been the driving force. And like, there's still, there's a lot of powerful work that's being done, but I also feel like there's a lot of people out there that just even like a, like a little drop of love yes. will, will go like, would like just completely change things for them. So I've been, I've been really bringing that in. So, uh, I, I'm gonna when you when you brought up that I'm like I have, I'm just really feeling that right now so I want to put that into the space as well beautiful thank you um and again I don't um, believe in coincidence so yeah. uh tell us a bit uh a little well while you were talking about what you do I think maybe we need to know tell tell us a bit what Niyama does as in work um creates um, and then we'll talk a bit about freedom, but let's talk a bit about that. So you can just tell yeah. our audience what you do, yeah, yeah. what, what you do for well. fun, <laughs> well, yeah. not really for work. <laughs> well, I get I get a play in the work that I do. All right, so that so that there is there's more to that than than like if we're gonna be saying find freedom, like I've found a lot of freedom through the work that I choose to do because I choose to find find a way to play with it. Um, nice. Yeah. If, if you want to know what I do, I think that what, what I do is what I believe. Uh, and what I believe is that the ways that like that true inclusion, the, the way that for us to really come together is not by finding out what we have in common and maximizing that. But instead, it's about celebrating and valuing our differences. And that like that to me is like the like it, it informs everything behind what I do. All right. I like I just I look at the world and I see I see like how much we spend time trying to see how, how common we are. And I see the results that we've also created from it. And as I think about it over time, I'm like the one thing that is like every civilization, every time period has gone by, it's like they've created caste systems. They've had like there's, there's all these different there's class systems. There's, we're going to find a ways, even when I was five years old and I was playing out like in recess, there was an us versus them, right? Like you were talking about earlier. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And so like, so the only thing, like literally the only thing that actually makes sense to me in, in, in terms of real inclusion, in terms of really coming together and being able to collaborate and co-create and to experience joy and love with one another uh, is to not try and pretend that like, that we don't have differences. I think we're really good. I think we're wired as humans to like see like, oh wait, something's different. That might be dangerous, right? But to like change that wiring that, that says, oh wait, something's different. And rather than, rather than saying that might be dangerous, change it to something more like that could be really interesting. I wonder what could happen with that. I wonder what yes. we can do with that. You know, that. what could be great, you know? Yes. Uh, and and so that that's 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 really what I do. And I and what I so to do that, I help extraordinary people especially the people who feel like they're already different already i call them outliers right they're the people <laughs> yes. who like they like yeah they stick out from the average they're not like one of the norms they've defied the odds in the past they've lived in multiple countries they've gotten promoted faster than others they have a view of the world that just like that is just different than than what they feel the people around them felt um and rather than helping them like turn that down in order to like assimilate and be successful with the rest of like the rest of society i have to turn that way up I, i'm like like if you're if you're a 10 but you're supposed to be a hundred like the world could like there's still 90 percent of you that the world is missing out on yes. and quite frankly most other people don't know how to access that right and those other people they can put in a hundred percent they can put in all of them but they're not getting anything because there's not the space isn't there yes there's no room in the average Right, you have the, it's, the the average is yes. very very condensed and such. But as an outlier, you have the room to. If you're going to be considered part of the data set, why just be an outlier that's just slightly different? 
why just be an outlier that's like you have an opportunity to actually raise the average by just being even more of yourself so i spend my time creating experiential learning uh, opportunities for people through coaching through workshops through um I have masterminds. I just consistently find ways to take extraordinary people who are extraordinary. They're just us, you know? Uh, I, the extraordinary people, I've, I've now been playing with extraordinary superhumans because like <laughs> they are just like, just super human. Like, like they have, they have ups, they have downs, they have, they have feelings. They have like, they're, they doubt themselves, all these things. And I find ways to just say like, how do we help you make your biggest most impactful like influence in this world because you have the capability of completely uplifting your world yes. and that's that's what i do i find it, whether it's through my podcast whether it's through books whether it's through coaching like people individually or every conversation that i'm in I'm constantly just looking to see how can I help you shine even brighter because this world is dark enough as it is. And there's like, there's a light that you yourself, like only you can bring. Yes. And so let's make sure that that is like on full blast uh, and others can see it and then they'll flock to you, you know? Yes. That, that's, that's, let me, let me put it as that way. That's, that's what I do in the world. I love that. That is so beautiful. I can just see it. I can see all these stars just shining and bright and just growing. And that's yeah. exactly what we need because there's so much, there's so many people out there that, that just don't know. They just need someone to hold their hand um, or to just see a shining light and say, oh, you know what? At least there's some shining light and I can follow them or I can emulate them or model them or whatever it is. Um, and I think we owe it to the world to do that. So, wow. Thank you so much. Would, for would you mind if I, if I just modify that just a bit? Sure. Yes. Yeah. So the parts that come for me is like, is what would happen if everyone realized that they themselves were a star, right? Yeah. They themselves were a light and like, and that all, all that's happened is that over time they've, they've, they've covered that light up. They've made it harder and harder for that light to come in. So they think that other people have the sign, but they don't. Right. And it may not be that they can illuminate and everyone around them sees, but maybe they can create enough light that they can see the next three steps in front of them. Yes. And then when they take the next three steps, then guess what? They can see the next three steps afterwards and so on and so forth, right? Um, what I love about the outliers and working with them is not necessarily for that that they can be emulated. But what I, what I say is, uh, Karina, like I look at myself as someone who creates space. I spend a lot of time with coaches who hold space. And that's absolutely wonderful. There's a wonderful thing for that. I can hold space with the best of them. Yes. And there's an element of creating space that now going back to fitting out and uh, like being the class clown and all those things where I'm like used to being one of the only, uh, I now know how to use that on behalf of other people to go out and say like, like, let me create it so much room. Like I'm going to go in and do my thing. And just know that, like, just, you know, the average that didn't have any space. Well, in my world, all there is is space, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. How do you want to leverage that? How do you want to be able to move forward here? I am, I choose to do it this way. This is the random, wonderful thing that I end up doing, you know? And oh, yes. by the way, I brought in someone else who has this other random, wonderful thing yes. that, that they're doing, you know? And just so you know, there's so many different ways. Now that you're here, I'm very curious about, like, what makes you interesting and what you love to contribute because if you like because if that's the case if that enters into this space all of us get something get something new that we can add to our portfolios add to the work that we do add to the like the way that we contribute to the world so like there is this there's a part of this here that i and i have to be the reason i'm choosing i use the word modify on it is because i don't it's important for me to make sure that this is an uh a self-driven uh element as opposed to like the the answer is outside right yes, someone yes, else yes, has the light yes, and now yes, I, now i can follow yes, that yes. that's what that is that's one of the things that has trapped us you know yes. talking about the yes. fears it's like oh crap if i'm myself like what will happen if you yes. want freedom it's about that inner light yes. and letting that shine yes what are your thoughts on that when yes, i bring yes, that into yes. the mix yes uh, yes i agree with you um sorry it sounded like um 
you have sometimes with with me the fear the, a lot of times the fear is like self doubt disbelief self flagellation all these things and so sometimes you just need to take the hand show people the way but they have to find it within themselves that's the only way you're going to grow is you have to find it within yourself and know you know to to know that Okay, this is like uh, you. You all are. We all are a piece of God for the want of a better word, right? Um, so how can we be bad? And um, it, it's again, it's about changing those beliefs, changing how some people have grown up, and and uh, uh, allowing a lot of us that we need to embrace who we are, um, and embrace like you did, Niyama is embrace your culture, embrace who you are and love it because that's who you are and be okay with saying, hey, you know what, this is who I am and I'm okay with it. So if we can get people to that point, that is, I mean, that would, would be amazing. Because, that would be amazing. Because um, that's why there's wars, right? That's why all these, that's why there's pain. That's why people do weird things because of the pain within themselves. So that's a bit, a lot of it. So I think we are on the same boat, the same kind of oh. story with the breaking fear. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, yes, we are. And this is what I do, Karina. Like I take, I take elements and I keep, I keep turning up the intensity on it. Right. <laughs> so like, it. so like, I'm definitely down for like, we us get into a place of like acceptance of who we are. Right. Yes. yes. Where, but what I, what I stand for, like what, like, like, again, like what I'm all about, I see my mission on this earth is to help people be seen, celebrated and valued. So to the point of being accepted for who you are, that feels really good. I'm like, that's that's my that's my table stakes, like no, no less than that. And my thing is like, now how do we make sure that that you that you value and you help others know to, that that you are valued, um, and that that becomes really fun. So, what's the the component for me is like my client my my clients pay like they pay good money and they they pay in advance to work with me because like because I am Niyama, you know, because of my past experiences, because I'll look at things in a certain way, because I like, I don't, I like, I'll call out in them what's true, but like, there's, a, there's certain things about the way that I am, like, I'm a space creator. I do some really weird stuff, you know, I love volume, like, I'll go out there and I'll, I'll be, I'm, I'm a prolific creator, you know, uh, one of the things right now when we're talking about finding freedom one of the things right now that that is coming from embracing me and then and then leveraging all, like who I am yeah, uh, is yeah. this component of like like you said we're all a piece of God like like how can you be how can anything be wrong I can do no wrong right now Karina like <laughs> everything I do I'm like okay like like either like it's it's just it's just it's it was a creation it's out in the world the world gets to, gets to respond to it and then I get to respond to that. You know, and we get to just keep growing and keep creating that. But there's a whole level of new freedom that comes beyond just the acceptance of it. But like yes. saying like, hey, by the way, I'm not for everyone, but for those that I am for, the results that they get, the return on their investment, the amount of fun that we have through it, the things that we create, it is just astronomical, yes. you know? Yes. Uh, and I think that like, like that has been, that little bit there, um, it speaks to, you talk about like there wouldn't be any war. It speaks like, I, I think about world wars. I think most people are looking for world peace. And for me, that's not enough. Yes. World peace is not enough. Like just to be like, oh, I'm peaceful next to you. You do your thing. We'll be cooperative. But like, you know, I want world joy. I want a world where like, where like we see one another and we're, and we're co-creating with each other. And we're like, oh, I have this. And they're like, wow, great. Since you're different than me, now we get to do... I, like I yes. see a world that is infinite and abundant and continues to grow because the cycle itself is so well oriented. So, yeah, like I, I want to take it to that level. Yes. How does that feel? How, how yes. does that feel when I bring that in? Ah, I love that. I love that because that's the only way we can work if we just co co create and we work together and we find, like you said, you know, we're all different. 
but we we work with our differences and we work together and we create so it's good to accept um that's right that felt good but it's more than that so we together we can build each other up and we can hold each other up and just create and make make it bigger and bigger and bigger and just bring on more and more light and of course the joy and the happiness that you know that's what we want wow i love that vision it's beautiful i i, I appreciate you right now karina because i because um i recognize in this conversation i'm like yeah i'm with you and this right and that uh and i i really appreciate you like like your dexterity your flexibility of being with that right because like it's funny like i'm bringing a lot it's a joyful way that i'm bringing it but like i am challenging like fuse you know it's what <laughs> i do you yes, know i'll do yes. it with a smile on my and i'll do it while dancing i'll do it all that stuff but i'm like and here goes that three percent difference and and i look to these i look to these small words here uh, i'm big on uh distinctions i think that i think that your ability to distinguish your world is what gives you power yes right yes. um you like to see to, to see the differences between different elements and being able to to choose because it's essentially about choice you know yes. so yes. I, I pay attention to words and and uh i appreciate i appreciate you dancing with me uh in this conversation as as as, as we're here because i feel like our hearts are in very very similar places i i say a lot of people are like i want to hang out with other like-minded people i'm like oh that's such a yawn no, thank you. I don't, <laughs> like, no, it, it, one of it's one, it feels like a yawn. The other time it feels dangerous. I'm like, oh, if everyone's thinking the same, then that means that if I have any kind of divergent thoughts at all from it, like I, like I can be, ex I can be executed. I wanted to say ejected, but I actually said executed. Like executed. that's how I feel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So instead I'm like, I'm looking for different minded, but like hearted people, you know? And I really just wanted to say, like, I feel like, Karina, we have different minds, but our hearts are so alike. And it's like, it's something that I just like, I'm so grateful for you uh, for. I'm so happy to be in this conversation. I'm glad that our relationship is like building here. I'm like excited for what can come from it here because I'm like, you don't think like me. We think similarly, you know, but we're not like, you know, but yes. our hearts are like so aligned and that feels really, really good. Yes, yes. Wow, thank you. I, that's and that I like. I like that vision as well because um, when you talk about like-minded, you know, a lot of people say I want like-minded. You're right, but as soon as you said that, I've uh, I thought about the zombie ap apocalypse. Mm. So um, just a thought, and yeah. and <laughs> oh, it's I love right. That's a rich one. Yeah. And it becomes really boring because you're all speaking the same language. So what is that? That's not growth at all. So it's about having the courage to say, okay, I, I'm hearing what you're saying, but this is what I'm thinking and, and it's okay. Yeah. So thank you for this conversation. And I have to, do you mind if I say one more thing? Yes, please, 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 please. Yeah. I think, I think part of the reason, cause I, cause I, I recognize I was appreciative and then I was like, I'm like, why, why am I like, why does this feel so good? You know? Um, and the reason that feels good is that I feel that in this conversation, we're getting an opportunity to be a model of what world joy is. And I, I think that's really important. Like we talk about transformation here uh, and I'm very big on like, how do we actually get it done? It's it's more than what, what you Google and you read, you know, yes, five bullet yes. points and like, you know, so like, so to me, this conversation was like, is a part of that model, a part of like two people meeting each other for the first time and allowing themselves to go to places where they'll go to be almost on the same exact page, but still growing with each other along it to, to yes. be, to, to extend grace, but to make sure that we're hearing each other. Like I'm appreciative because it is an experience. It's a model of the future that I want to see in the world, you know? Um, and, and there's something about you and your, the way that you choose to be in conversation that really allows for that. Um, that really that really supports that and I didn't want to leave this conversation with you not knowing that um, it's what you do is important what you do matters what you do is felt uh, I gotta have a lot of conversations with people but not everyone is able to, to pull out of me what what you pull out and be able to dance with me in this way so I just want I really just want to just like recognize you for that well wow, thank you thank you Niamh. but uh, as you know what it is it's it's about dancing together I think um, so you dance together and you you just 
Yes, <laughs> that's what life's about, right? Um, so <laughs> tell me a bit, uh, Anyama, about, okay, we've touched on freedom, but tell me like freedom. Have you felt, have you felt freedom? Have you found freedom? Mm. By this part in the conversation, I would like for that to be here. I would like, like freedom, freedom is, freedom is here. I, I feel, what I have found is that I feel freedoms in different components of my life at different times. Mm. Um, in this conversation, the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, in the way that I do, the way that I show up in the world, the answer is yes. Um, it doesn't mean that it's always present. Uh, but at the same time, I like, I, I chose to become an entrepreneur and a movement leader. Mm -hmm. um, and in that, so, okay. In that comes with a lot of freedom, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Get, I'm like, I get to choose. I get to choose what I'm working on, who I'm working with, what I'm doing that day, where I'm like, like what offerings I'm making, like how, like what I'm what I'm going to contribute to the world, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But with that freedom comes even more fear, right? Because now we've left the world of like of the here goes the path that everyone says I suppose I was supposed to walk down. Yes. Uh, now we've left the world of oh I I can Google. And it's and and in reading those Google points, like there is insight into it. I'm walking my own path in the world, mm, right? Mm, mm. Freedom like is awesome, but like at the same time, it's like it's like, but once you get freedom, like you have to like you have to figure that whole that next thing out, right? Now, everything else from there is like it's your choice, like your responsibility, like your ownership on it, you know, and like and and it's so tempting to want to find like a way to like, is am I heading in the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Yes. You know? Yes. So like, so as I say that, like I've found freedom and I can tell because I'm like, oh crap, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> right. know. like uh, but at the same time, I think that that's why some of those feelings of like, like over time, I've learned that with that freedom, like comes this, this component that I, where like to really get to the place of like, either you're, I had, a, I had a coach, her name's Coach Kim. Uh, she said to me, um, said, you know, for me, I don't even look at failures anymore because it's either you win or you learn, you know? Yes. You win yes. or you learn. And that's yes. a, and it's something that's, that happens when you really have freedom. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, I have, I am now free to choose something different next time, you know? But like, now it's all through experimentation in <laughs> real life with real people, you know? Yes. Yes. That's so like so like that's that's it. I felt free enough to, to come and say what I had to say on this 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 place here. You know, I might I, there's still there's a lot of chatter in the back of my head. So you know, like like I'll let you know, like I'm like, oh, am I saying the right thing? Am I pushing back here? So you have to say, like like am I doing too, like all that's happening? Of course. Yes. And at the same Always. time, I'm like, that is that is the price and the cost and the investment of freedom. But the return mm. that I get is one of the most lovely conversations I've had all day. You know. Yes, I love that, but that's but that's true. I can resonate with that because um, a lot of times it's like, oh, you know, this responsibility thing is. I mean, it's beautiful. It's responsibility. You can do whatever you want, but sometimes it's like, I don't want to have responsibility anymore. Yeah. I just want to sit. I want someone to make me coffee, you know, or yeah. something. Yeah. And then or it's somebody lost. tell me exactly where I can go because I'm like I'm like I would like responsibility I would like freedom here but on this one I just 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 give me, I just want the result <laughs> yes. I don't need the freedom yes. I just want the result give yes. me more money give me more clients give me more freedom like give me more impact whatever it is right I get you on that yes yes and then, and it lasts for a bit and then you look around and you think huh there's no one's no one's coming to save you sorry get up yeah. put your you know get up and do what you have to do. Um, so yes, I know exactly what you're saying. Uh, uh, Niyama, sorry. Where can people find you? Oh, I'm everywhere, uh, <laughs> and that's like like so. Uh, I'm working on a book, like uh, working on this. Let's, let's make things simple. Niyama.com, n double i a m a h dot com is the like it's my it's the best way to just like. Find, like enter my world in some different places right yes. uh you can find me on all the socials at at niyama shang um or some variation closely to that that's n double i a m a h 
uh, Ashong is A S H O N G. So you can find me, uh, find me through that way. I would love to put something together specifically for uh, Break Free, Find Freedom listeners here, um, and that's going to be something that uh, it's a resource. I like to have the conversation, and then based on our conversation, like put together, curate something very special for the, the listeners here. So you can go to niyama.com slash break fear. And I would have gone through and um, niyama.com slash break fear, all one word there. Um, and I'll put together something that's like really special for, for the listeners here. Like, like it's a continuation of this conversation here uh, because that's what feels good to me, to be honest. Like, I'm like, <laughs> cause I can, you know, like, I so I it. will. Um, and I think, I think in there, depending on the, uh, for right now, at the time of this recording, and, and probably for a, a number of weeks afterwards here, I'm, I am in a privileged position to just spend time with people. So one of the things that, like, in addition to some worksheets, some some videos, some other things that will, like, continue to be different thinking tools to help people as they are navigating their path toward freedom, um, there'll also be an opportunity to spend some time with me in like a one-on-one coaching experience or a small group coaching experience as well. So take a look at that. If it's something that interests you, go to niyama.com slash break fear. Um, and this is going to be like, like it doesn't like, we're literally going to leave here and we're going to curate something that's like based on like what we think would be it's absolutely amazing to support people based on the conversation we've been having. So Thank far. you so much, Nyama. And um, of course, all the details will be in the description box. So check it out and Go and meet this beautiful man and do some like create co-creating. I think yeah. it's going to and find your freedom, right? Oh, that's uh, gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, I we should, we should say like like uh, I'd love to have you also on the Outliers Eds podcast so we can like have like a a different version of this here of this conversation over there too. So like there's ways to continue this conversation. You know, thank you, sure. thank you. That'll we, be we a lot of fun. Yes, that'll yeah. be a lot of fun. It'll be nice to spin it off. Before we go, Nyama. Um, any passing comments or last words you want to tell our audience, my audience? Yeah, let me just check in really quickly here. Thank you for the opportunity. I guess like the, what's coming through me in this moment is like, it's just like you're needed in the world exactly as you are. Like, like there is, there's nothing more that you need to learn nothing more that you need to do or even more that you need to be it's just like it's allowing yourself to just, just be you and allow more of that freedom i have to say be more you um uh, and allow that freedom to come in here like it's nothing like there's nothing else to learn in the book there's nothing else to learn from like of course you can always learn it's not about stopping your growth but it's mm -hmm. it's the component here of recognizing that you have everything that you need including when necessary, like the ability to go find out the information that you don't have when you need it, you know, but like, but you're like, you're already ready. You're already ready. And and I think that's like, that's the, that's the component that, that that's, what's really feeling like very true to me. And yeah, I just, mm -hmm. that's, I think, I, I don't think, I know it needs to be said. That's what, what's what wants to be said right now. It's beautiful thank you so take that leap of faith just take that leap of faith and know that i know this is, this sounds so like a cliche but you'll be supported right you just that's it don't that's realize it. i love i love that right it's like it's like it's like it's on the other side of that right because when when we're it's like what you said with me in the name when i came and i claimed my name no one had a problem with it before yes. i when i couldn't claim it People like people were stumbling because I was stumbling, you know, and yes. I think I think there's something in there. Right. It's like and you take that leap of faith, like we will come out and support you. We see you. We're looking out. We know what it's like when people find freedom. We're like, oh, you're finding freedom right now. Great. Like we got you here. Step, step. Let me connect you. Let me. Let me. Yes. You're good. Yes. We will support you. Yes. Take that leap. We will support you. I love it. Thank you. I love it. That in there. Wow. Thank you so much. This was I love this conversation um, and I'm looking forward to being on your show as well. So we will um, thank you, Niyama, for your time and for this beautiful conversation. And we will, we will chat soon. So Until soon. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye for now.